We're gonna make these kids better day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. We're gonna tell them the truth. We're gonna be honest with them. We're gonna develop them. We're gonna put in the hard work. And that's where it's at. Me being a former player, looking back, you know, I'm grateful for the people that could relate to me. That's part of our job as well. Okay, we gotta say, okay, how do the players react to this certain situation? Greg Vitrone, uh, player development coach. Oh, that's my guy, Shoes. Shoes, uh, Shoes my man. Shoes don't rock most of us here, man. Shoes, Shoes been holding it down. He's like the glue guy behind it. He kept the whole team together, especially with when the new coaching staff came. He kept everybody here and kept us together. So he's a backbone behind everything. Oh, Queens, New York. CYO kid. You know, my father had me in a CYO gym, seven years old, and I, I, I've known nothing else. I've done nothing else but been involved in basketball for now over 30 years, so I've been very fortunate. You know, I, I didn't want to leave Rutgers because I saw the energy here. I saw the people there. In two years, I've met people that I know I'll be friends for, for my whole life. This is by far, uh, for me, myself, the best coaching staff I've ever worked on, and I've worked on some pretty good ones. I've known Jay, Jay Young 30 years, Carl Hobbs and I, and I have been in recruiting wars back in the days, and Brandon Knight, I used to work out as a young player, so it's just been unbelievable for me. For, the tra for me personally, the transition has been unbelievable. It's a great dynamic we have in the, in the, uh, in the office, and as far as from a basketball standpoint, um, everybody contributes. There's a wealth of experience. Uh, up in that office right now, which is great for me being a young guy to learn from and as well as the players to uh, you know to learn from as well. I've known Coach for a while now. He, re he recruited me out of high school, um, so I've known him probably since 2007. Um, so we have a great relationship. I had a great relationship as a player um, for him, um, and that kind of continued after I, I graduated, went overseas to play, and then came back and he hired me, and I'm extremely grateful for that opportunity that he gave me. I grew up in Scotch Plains, which is 20 minutes from here. Um, I remember coming to the rack when I was in middle school and Quincy Doobie and Irving Lamazana are playing and uh, you know the place was, was, was rocking, the fans would come out, it was loud, it was a great, great environment, energetic. Um, and, you know, we're slowly building back up to that. Um, and that's you know where we want to get the program back to. This is an exciting time to be at Rutgers. You know, what they what they've been able to do, and, and not just not just in raising the money and building a building. It's far greater than that. It's the enthusiasm that's with it. It's the passion that's with it. The people that are here love Rutgers. You know, the Big Ten is such a, a great league, and we're in such a great area in New Jersey here. You have the, the city close, the beach is close. We can do some special things here, and the department is so behind us that, um, you know, it's only a matter of time before we get there. Rutgers basketball, one, two, three. Rutgers basketball. Good job.